nice one, but I'm not going to carry it out. It weighs too much. Pardon me for the coughing and stuff, but uh, yeah, it happens. Um, still just ambling along, seeing what I can find. Little bits and pieces of cool stuff down in here. But uh, nothing so far. Uh, let's see what this is over here. Huh. Uh, pull him up. Well, it looks like he's got a good crack, so, and he's hollow. I can feel he's hollow. So let's do an experiment, shall we? Maybe a first interesting one I've done this to. Let's see what we can find. Uh, there's the spot we want to break them. And there's where we're going to try to break them. Sorry if I jiggle the camera. It's kind of hard to do all of this at the same time. Yeah. Okay, strike one. Strike two. There we go. Okay, now. Well, it did break open uh, to reveal nothing but muck. So let's clean the muck and hope for the best. Boy, it's mucky. Uh, it might clean up, but unfortunately he stays. I'm just not going to bother with him. 
This guy's real solid. Nope. over here look at this one oh. totally solid a couple smaller ones solids heavy heavy this one uh, it's a shame This is one of those that I'm studying right now that I don't know. I don't know if I could clean it or not. Throw it up on the bank, maybe another day. We'll see where it goes. Okay, we'll just keep moving around here. There's geodes here and there. Oh, hold on, I got a big one. Where are you? I think right in there. See it? Let's pull him out. Okay, hold on a second here. Huh. Well, he's, he's sort of lightweight for what he is. And he's got great detail. I like the chunky. Let me readjust the camera here a little bit so you can see him better. I like them. All right. All right. Well, I'll get back to you. Again, just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. You could be out here all day long. Well, I'm here, and this is just about my last journey. I might go as far as that last island right there, but then I'm done for now. So we'll check this out, see what we find. Catch up with you in a second. The guy weighs a ton, but I think I'm going to be bringing him home. He's just so cool. Well, good afternoon, everybody. This is Monday, the following day after that little adventure. Um, I was surprised once I got home and started going through the bags to discover all the little treasures. So it actually wound up being a very good day out in that creek. And um, 
I'm quite happy with what I found. So I'm going to walk you through this. This is the wrap-up. I don't know when the next video will be available, um, partly due to the fact that uh, with the coronavirus heating up here, um, it's getting kind of crazy. Governors are shutting down everything, including restaurants and whatever. I tried to get some meat and some toilet paper from Walmart, and they didn't have that. Um, so anyway, we'll see. We'll hang in there, everybody, and uh, see what we can do. Uh, to get back out there in the creek. Uh, they're even closing state parks and things like that as well. So it's getting a little bit hairy. Um, anyway, for those who are suffering from it, uh, you're in our prayers and in our thoughts. And uh, Rhianna and I will pray for you. So here you go. This is the wrap-up, and I'm going to walk you through this as fast as I can. A um, lot of geodes, a lot of little tiny geodes, um, let's see, some interesting type of crinoidy plant. I really don't know the name of it, but it's the one with twisting, um, <clears throat> stalks, uh, and, uh, I'll show you those. It's the first time I found a whole handful of those and quite sizable, um, bunch of horn coral, but mostly bits and pieces of horn coral, but some interesting geodized ones, um, some shell, We'll talk about that in a bit and some just crunchy bits that I have no idea what they are. So just to walk you around, the big sparkler of the day is probably this guy. This guy's amazing. So you can see him. He's a sparkler. And then you got this one who's hiding a little bit, but he's pretty neat too. So he turned out very well. And then you got the big one here. Unfortunately, I found a red one, and it fell out of my hands, I guess, when I was walking back, and uh, I'll have to go get it another day. Here we have a geode, and it's hollow. So, they call those rattlers. If you get a rattler, you've got a hollow geode. So, it means there's probably good crystal inside of this, but that requires you opening it. I don't know if I'm going to open it. I have to review. You see all these light tan spots? I got to go over them and look very carefully at each and every one to see if I recognize anything to know what this originally was. It was something that exploded during geodization and became this giant geode. Um, so, anyway, it's pretty light, this one. Compared to this one, oh, <laughs> this one, well, oh gosh, this one weighs like two bowling balls. It's crazy. Now, it's hard to get the, the best of this. You have to have it uh, wet and you have to have it in sunlight. All that brown, it glows a red violet. And then you have the orange center. And it's absolutely gorgeous, this pot. So this is a really nice pot. It weighs so much, it was hard to get it up out of the creek. Um, let me see here. I'll use my squirt bottle. That'll show you a little bit of these. You'll find these every now and again. I don't know. I think they're gorgeous. And, um, you know, it's it's... I don't know what they are, uh, to be honest. Uh, you know, I just find them, and I, I made the mistake of spraying some of my earlier collection of these with um, acrylic spray, and uh, unfortunately had to put them outside, and they all turned milky white, and I don't think I can restore them. So I'll be a little more careful now as I find these, but I think they're beautiful. All right, so bits and pieces. So here you go. This is our collection of bits and pieces. I haven't a clue what most of this is. Now, when we get down to here, <coughs> excuse me for moving things around. When we get down to things here, this becomes all coral related or crinoid related. So you get some interesting things happening. Um, and then we come down to these. Uh, these are the uh, <clears throat> Bizarro stems. I know it's a plant, and uh, an original animal slash plant back in the day, but I have forgotten now exactly the name of it. 
uh, specific species, but I believe it's related to crinoids, um, just a larger species. And I found quite a bit of that. So this is all related to it right here, all of that. Then we come over here <clears throat> and we have, again, bits and pieces, a nice little crinoid head, uh, lots of geodes, you know, going to run through them fast. Little guys, there's a sparkler, sparkler, nice little sparkler, bot, little white bot there, it's neat. I like the little bots, they, I'm a big fan of them. Um, this one's kind of nice, probably druzy inside, very hard to see, but it's still kind of, kind of nifty. Um, over here, a little, little plate of crinoid stems, not the best, but, uh, I brought it home anyway. So there you go, some more crinoid. Okay, over here, we have a bunch of crunchy. I have no idea what any of this crunch is. Anybody recognizes anything and wants to join in, let me know. But, uh, no idea. So, okay, now... This is our bits and pieces, things that'll probably go outside. I'm now starting to separate my stems and pieces and segments into the best pile versus the okay pile. All right, back to it. Let's try to clean these up a little bit. Give me a second here. I apologize for the shaking. Um, we'll try to put all this stuff over here. I need a little room here to finish up. A lot of rock. You know, I had no idea that I found this much yesterday. I was walking along and uh, had no clue. You know, you just you just start and uh, you just throw stuff in your pockets. Or your, I have a jacket that has several pockets, and I like to keep the small stuff in there a little safer. So uh, let's get these cleaned up, and then we're ready to go here. All right, so you're gonna get a zoom in on some of the some of the horn coral this one very cool piece pure white nifty I was lucky to get a couple of those here's another one that's real neat I like this one a lot so those two are great um, here's one that's got that's been geodized has crystal down inside of it if the phone will cooperate there we go Okay, here's a little crunchy thing. I have no idea what he is, but he's neat. I like him a lot. No idea. Could be just, uh, this could be just um, quartzite, you know, combined with uh, some sort of crinoid. I don't know. Probably one of my favorite pieces I found yesterday. Love this piece. Gorgeous. Look at that. Just sparkles. Real, ni real nice piece. Probably horn coral. I have one in red, too, that's beautiful. Red-orange. All right, some bits and pieces of crinoid stems. Not too, too bad. Some more bits and pieces here of uh, horn coral. Uh, geodized horn coral and uh, also others. So there you go on that. Now we'll come down to this. Uh, Show you this if I can. Let's get focused here. All right, there we go. You'll notice it's covered in beak height. Pretty neat. This one spot just keeps keeps delivering. It keeps giving me stuff like this. I have now a jar of it, and I really, really like it. I don't know that I can get any more focused than that without taking a picture of it and then bringing that up, enlarging it. Yeah, it just won't, it won't cooperate. And then my, uh, one of my favorite pieces, just the front of, of a horn coral piece, but covered in beak height. I'll try to take a couple real good close-ups of this and you can see the patterns and things. 
please excuse my ridiculously dry fingers. Too much dishwashing, too much rock washing, and too much rock collecting. Man, it wears your fingers down. So there you go. Nice, nice piece. This is one of my favorite finds. So the, I'll put my several, two of my favorite finds in the center here. There are others, but, uh, you know, these are a couple of my favorite finds right here in the center. All right, sorry for the jump in the rim. And there you go. So you go. Right, so yesterday was a good day for that. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice pieces right there. Not counting this guy over here, which I still think he's he's fantastic. So there's another one, and probably came out of this this uh, walk with about a dozen pieces for the serious collection. Oh, probably a little more actually, because I missed this guy. I think he's amazing. So we'll bring him back for another look. Look at that. What a great piece. So he'll go on display in a little box on my shelf. I like him a lot. Anyway, last uh, thing for discussion. Uh, you're, if you're out and about in these creeks and environments, you're going to find, and especially in Indiana, you're going to buy find shell. The question is, what kind of shell? Um, there are many, and uh, I'm still researching it myself. I've been doing this for 10 months or more and still don't know all the shells at all. Um, you know, there's clam shells, but there's all kinds of species of clam shells, and nobody's really up on that that I can find information on yet. There's um, brachiopods, which are sort of kind, they kind of resemble um, the Harley-Davidson symbol. They've got wings on both sides and sort of a weird triangular, triangular thing in the center. Um, so that's the brachiopods. And they're, they're what I would call the really obvious looking, very um, strong, uh, sharp, impressioned clamshell look. And here's one, it's a, it's a real tiny one, but here's one that I can show you very up close. In fact, there's two right there. Okay? So, you see that, right? And it's going to be crazy for you to imagine that turning into something, but it does. So what happens in geodization is it gets into something like this, and then it gets... It's, uh, pressure from the earth and pressure from the soil and the ocean and millions of years pass and slowly and I do not understand what happens next but these I guess begin to crack uh, the the outer shells begin to crack and then uh, fluids that were inside the, the clamshell begin to ooze out and then that causes what resembles all of this stuff so then you get all this stuff. So that could be a clamshell that just exploded slowly over centuries of pressure. So what I have to do is get in here and look at every one of these spots with a magnifier and try to figure out if there's any texture, any pattern, any clue at all as to what it might have been to cause that. And you know what? It could be nothing. It could just be sand. So... But anyway, I lucked out yesterday because my one big hope was that I would find a large version of that. And I think I did. So here you go. That is that. And if you look carefully, you can see. See the shell? Right there. See the shell? Then come over here. See the shell? Shell. Now, is it a brachiopod, which this is? We don't know. I mean, this has a completely different definition on the edges here, you see? So, I, I'm not sure. Or is this a clam? I get confused on these because they all change position. They change the way they're sitting. And suddenly, they look like something else. But, yes, this is definitely an entire shell.
I'll turn it over and you can see a couple more bits and pieces. Pretty neat. You can see all the detail. So it's rare to find one this clear. Usually they, they just completely get covered over with all this opalizing, fingery, weird skeletal things. And then eventually it just takes over the whole thing. So I said that to show you that I believe this is another one right here. See it? And oh, by the way, a brachiopod, to tell them, they have a ridge. You see this ridge? So they have a ridge across the center. When they geodize, it really enhances that feature. Um, this one, I'm not sure about. So this could be a clam. This, this one up here could be a clam. And this one, definitely brachiopod. So there you go. Now, the question is, are these also... And I'm going to just uh, show you show you them quickly. They could be. And if I were a betting man, I would say absolutely. Similar shapes, similar sizes. But you see, these are less defined. That happens. So you just got to keep your eye out for stuff. And, and uh, no, there's, as far as I could see with the magnifier, there's no actual indication to tell me that these are shell. Except size reference shape reference now they'll show up smaller well sure they would because we have one over here that's a little itty bitty guy right so you got to keep your eye out again for smaller shells is this one 90 percent of me thinks yes it is 10 percent not sure but i have shell that resembles this almost identically that actually has the pattern of the shell visible so, again, I believe that's Shell. Lastly, this guy. What is he? Well, I just examined him, and if you look real, real, real carefully, what is this ridge right here? You see one, actually you see four. One, two, three, four, right? Well, couldn't it be that? Right there just blown up it could be so my guess is that this is shell it's just the white all this white was the shell and it blew off and broke off as it geodized uh, unfortunately it didn't retain any of its pattern why I have no idea but anyway there's a close-up and that's the best I can do so, you let me know. I think it's shell. So, clamshell perhaps on that one. So, there you have it. So, um, putting all these together so you can see them in a row. You have that. One, two, three, four definite shells in my opinion. So it was a really good day. I didn't even know it until I got home with all these things. So I'm getting better as I wander the creeks and out there in the woods. I'm starting to recognize things and seeing shapes much better than I, I did, oh, six months ago for sure. Um, so you're seeing uh, probably, th there's a probably one or two things that didn't quite make this grouping right here. But this is pretty much all of it and my favorite pieces that I found. All right. Go down here close on stuff one more time for you. Walk you around one more time. I might be calling this guy Liberace. The sparkle on him is incredible. This guy I love. This is one of my favorite pieces. Just love it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this wrap-up. I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, I don't know when we'll see you again. Everybody stay safe and uh, do your best to listen to the orders of everything that's coming down. And uh, hope that, uh, you know, we all survive this pretty quick and get over all this nonsense so we can go out and have some more fun. All right? If you like this, 
you know, please push that button down below. If you uh, want to subscribe, I'd love it. Uh, hit that button. I will have more videos. In fact, I have a couple sitting right now in the cans waiting to be uploaded. Um, Rhiannon and I will be back doing the creek thing when we can and uh, also the antique thing. But we're going to try and come up with some other ideas. We've already been talking about a few, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I want to make it you know, continue to be fun, but uh, also bring in some history and some pop culture and other things. So, all right, guys. For now, talk to you later on the next adventure. Bye-bye.